the verse 24 of the 21st chapter of the Gospel of John. John is wrapping up his testimony, these 21 chapters. Uh, reaching the end of it, he's just given the story of Jesus' interaction with Peter. And now he is sort of signing this, you might say, uh, giving his own testimony concerning these things. Uh, he's just indicated that uh, Peter asked the question, uh, what uh, about this man? And of course, uh, at this point, Jesus uh, gives Peter a little bit of a rebuke and says, don't worry about that. Uh, I've given you the instructions that you need. Uh, you follow me, and uh, that's going to be the end of that. And then this reference, of course, to the disciple, who remains unnamed but is generally regarded to be John himself, the author of the gospel, gives this uh, little uh, closing attestation. So he says, uh, hutos, demonstrative pronoun, and the masculine singular nominative, this one, esten, this is the... Uh, third person singular of the verb me, so this one or this is, and then ho mathetes, this is the disciple. And then we have two uh, participle phrases here, so this is the disciple, and then first of all the martyrun from martyreo, bear witness, this is the masculine uh, present participle, masculine singular, nominative, the bearing witness, so the first thing, this is the disciple, the bearing witness, peri, preposition, takes the genitive, concerning these things. <clears throat> this is the genitive uh, plural of the neuter, demonstrative pronoun. So this is the disciple, the bearing witness concerning these things, one, would be the idea. And then the second participle phrase, and uh, hogropsos, this is an aorist participle, the having written, Tauta, these things. Now, tauta is the direct object of gropsos. Of course, gropsos from the word grapho means a right. So this is the aorist uh, participle, indicating time preceding the time of the leading verb. The having written these things one. So it's uh, a disciple who is described by two participle phrases. The bearing witness of these things, present participle, and the having written these things one. And then this very interesting additional statement, kai oidamen, we know, this is the first person plural, uh, yeah, perfect active indicative, we have known, continue to know, hoti, conjunction, alethes, adjective, uh, which uh, is this case serving as a predicate adjective, that true, and then outu, the possessive pronoun, of him, he martyria, the, mar the uh, witness of him, esten, is true. Uh, we have the same word here, esten, esten. So uh, uh, this is the disciple who bears witness, having written these things, and we know that true, uh, the witness of him, it is. Uh, been a little bit of question, of course, in terms of comments, so why the word oidemen, we know. Uh, this, who exactly is John referring to? He's obviously describing himself here, at least it seems pretty obvious. Uh, who are the others that might be part of this first person plural uh, verb? Not known. Been a fair amount of speculation. I think probably John is writing to a particular community in the first instance and uh, is more or less assuming that they are going to affirm that the testimony of this man, who has been the Apostle of Christ, who is now probably in his later years, is not going to be bearing any lies to them. He's going to be giving them a truthful witness as to his uh, uh, recollection of these things. And I think that's probably the best view of it, although it uh, remains a bit of a, a controversy in the minds of some.